Right now I'm at Wolfram RC Raceway and it's race night. This is the track. It had a 35 foot straightaway, but it's uh, been changed recently and I don't know what the um, straightaway situation is right now. But they also have a pretty awesome uh, little crawler course coming in. And this is a cool cave. Uh, Dan Clark made it and uh, I've driven it once. It's pretty cool. This doesn't look like a messy birthday cake like a lot of ones do, which is fine if you like it. Doesn't mean it can't be a good course just because it looks like a birthday cake. But there's several lines here to do and it's pretty cool. This is the uh, bug body from Dan's old GLR and that was a fast car believe it or not and this course grows all the time. There's the bridge over and under and uh, this is the uh, pond area or the I'm sorry the plastic waterfall and it's actually pretty fun. I decided to bring my monster uh, Enduro SCX24 tonight and give it a run up here. And I'll just do a quick run if I can and show you the new uh, SGX24 course. It's actually a little more slippery than I thought it was going to be. It's molded plastic and it's kind of rough, but it doesn't quite have the same grip as a lot of rock does. I mean, there's rock that's smoother, but um, it's a little bit less than I would have thought. See if I can make it over the bridge without falling off here. Respects to the bug. And this is a pretty steep climb. I don't know if a lot of them are going to be able to do this, but this truck has the reach with that long wheelbase. One thing this truck does not do well is turn right. Turns left pretty good but it struggles to go right, and I'm not sure why. You might recognize a few of these rocks. This one's from my course at home that I uh, have on loan out to uh, Warfram RC. Probably a permanent addition. This is the current course. I'll take one more uh, trip up over the bridge and show you the downhill on the other side. It's also very steep and uh, could result in an upside down situation. That new uh, brushless motor really helps with the wheel speed when I need it now. It's not as fast as an SCX24 yet, but it uh, is a lot better than it was with the uh, SCX24 axles.
And this one needs a little bit more um, weight on the rear axle to keep it tipping forward. And that is the night at Wolfram RC. Getting ready to do some uh, mini Z racing. I don't just crawl, I love to do racing as well, and racing is actually what got me into RC, so um, if you're in the Des Moines area, come on out and have a look. We have a good time. we got some really fast guys here, and uh, we'll see you on the track or out in the rocks. <laughs>